Hello, it's officially Pancake Day, and if you're not familiar with it, Pancake Day does mean a lot of things to lots of people, but for me, the most important thing about Pancake Day is that I get to eat pancakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've already given you a really great recipe to make the most of this special day, but because I love you, I'm gonna give you another one. But this one is going to be for something a little bit more luxurious. This Nutella crepe cake will be made of no less than 30 delicate crepes, layered together with Chantilly cream and everyone's favorite chocolatey nutty spread Nutella, and then finished off with a smooth coating of rich chocolate ganache. The best thing about this cake is that you probably have all the ingredients for it already because one of the wonderful things about pancakes is they have very, very simple ingredients, eggs, flour and milk. And just a couple of extra things and we're going to make this thing amazing. Now I'm going to start by making the batter and for 30 pancakes we're going to need a lot of batter so make sure you have a nice big bowl. And in my bowl I've already got 300 grams of sifted plain flour and I'm going to add to that a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of carbon sugar and then whisk those all together and then once they're nice and combined make a little well right in the center using your hands. Now into that well you need to put six large eggs and then using your whisk bring that all together bringing the flour in from the outside and once it's all mixed together you then need to add 900 milliliters of whole milk in a slow steady stream whisking all the time a lot of batter but once all your milk is in it's ready to take it over to the frying pan. Okay so over here I have a frying pan which is already nice and hot over a medium heat. I've got a little bowl which has melted butter and vegetable oil mixed together and a pastry brush and a plate so that I can put my crepes onto that. Um, so the first thing I'll do is to brush my pan. And then depending on what size your ladle is, um, you just want to have enough batter in your ladle to cover the frying pan's base. So when you've poured your batter in, roll it around the pan to make sure you get a nice clean edge. And once it stops rolling, you can put it back on the heat and wait for it to cook and it will take a couple of minutes on both sides. I normally just give it a little peek underneath to see if it's ready and when it's a kind of golden colour, which it is, Slip a little spatula under there and flip it. And then when the underside is ready, just slide it onto a plate and keep going with your batter until you have 30 or more. So my pancakes are cooling down in this pile over here and now I'm going to get on with making the chocolate ganache which we're going to use to cover the whole cake. So I've already boiled 150 grams of double cream and I'm going to pour that over 150 grams of dark chocolate. Let that sit for about a minute or two before you stir it and then it'll become nice and smooth. And now that the ganache is smooth and glossy, it's ready, but it needs to come to a spreadable consistency. So I'm just going to put that to one side and let it cool down and firm up a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to get on with making my fillings. Now there's going to be two fillings for this crepe cake. One is a sweet Chantilly cream and the other one is a Nutella cream. So I have two bowls with 200 grams of double cream each in them. The first one is going to be the Chantilly cream and to the 200 grams of double cream, I'm going to add 20 grams of sifted icing sugar and whip it to a soft, floppy peak. So that's perfect. It should be kind of very loose, but nice and sort of voluptuous and floppy. Um, now I'm going to make the other one, which is the Nutella cream. So I've got the same amount, 200 grams of double cream. And in a separate bowl, I've got 50 grams of Nutella. And to that, I'm going to add three or four tablespoons of the cream. And just stir those together gently. And once that's all combined, put that back into the bowl of cream and do the same thing, whip that to a floppy soft peak. So with my two fillings ready, it's time to start building this up. And I've got a turntable here with a cake board on it. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of cream on the bottom just to help the first pancake stick down. So just pop your first pancake onto that. Now I'm gonna put a little dollop of my Chantilly cream on and spread that out. 
and it just needs to be a thin layer because there's going to be a lot of layers and you don't want it to be all cream. And on top of that, I'm going to put a small drizzle of Nutella. I've already got Nutella in a piping bag. I've actually warmed this up just to help it come out a little bit better. And then another pancake on top of that. And then a blob of Nutella cream, spread that out, and then a sprinkling of toasted hazelnuts. And then repeat that until you've used all your pancakes and all your cream. All my pancakes are on and I'm now going to put it in the fridge for about five or ten minutes just to set it a little bit before I trim the edges off. My crepe cake has been in the fridge for about five minutes and it's nice and chilled. So now it's time to trim it so that I can do a first coating of chocolate ganache. Now, some people um, like to do this with a knife, a serrated knife or a sharp knife using like a template, which would be, in my case, a cake board. But I find that sometimes the pancakes can be quite elasticy and it can kind of drag. So I like to use a pair of scissors to cut the frilly edges off. So it's nice and trimmed and now it's ready to have its first coat, which is essentially a crumb coat, except that there are no crumbs. But this is going to give us a nice clean layer to do the finished chocolate ganache. And my ganache is now at a lovely spreadable consistency, so I am going to apply a thin coating of it around the edges and the top. And now that needs to go in the fridge again for another five or ten minutes. Right, it is finishing time. So now this is nice and chilled, it's time to have the final coating of ganache. And now for the finishing touches, I have some Nutella, which is nice and warm, in a piping bag. I'm gonna do a little drip. Already looking pretty cool, but just to cover that join up, I'm going to put some toasted chopped hazelnuts. And there it is, completely finished, and it looks just like a regular but very awesome layer cake, but inside there's much more going on, so let's have a little look. And look at it, layer upon layer of dreamy pancakes and Nutella and cream. It's just brilliant, it looks so cool. And that concludes my pancake day extravaganza. So I hope your day has been filled with pancakes and pancakey goodness, and that you've eaten pancakes for breakfast, lunch and dinner like I have. And if you make this cake, then please let me know how you got on in the comments box below. And also, if you make anything else for my channel, then let me know by tagging me on Instagram using the hashtag CupcakeGemma. Don't forget you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the end and also don't forget to hit the little bell down there to make sure you get my recent uploads in your feed. I'll see you next week. Bye.